Okay. All right. Oh, I see they have a transcription for some reason. Okay, go on it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, right? Uh, if you try it, then if you copy it, right? Oh yeah. Wait, does it say? Um, so this is actually the plot from when uh, from the things that I shared in, in the spectrum, right? But again, right, for again, uh, your, set, uh, your seat number, oh, I oh I didn't, yeah, I, I forgot. I think I, you had to open, uh, I don't know whether you have the seat number or not. So if you use a different seat number, obviously you get a different plot. Okay, unless you do very long, like 1,000 1, or million, uh, then you get similar, similar result. But if you just use like 500 or 100, then, it really depends on the seat number because the seat number will depend, will influence your, it will influence your randomness, right? So if you use, if you want to get the same result every time, or you want to track your, you want to track your uh, simulation, Right, then you can just use the same seat number. Right, so maybe if I use one, two, three, four, then I get this plot. <laughs> right, if you use one, two, three, four, lah. you use a different seat number, then you get a different plot. Okay, so you can, you can see that. So this is actually the plot that, uh, that is in the output that I shared in, uh, in, in the spectrum, right? So this part. Okay. Right, so if you see this, then um, you can try it for, if I use the same number, but I change it to 5,000. Right, we have 5,000. Right, then you can see, right, of course, with a higher iteration, high number of iteration, then you will get the sample will actually match the target distribution very well. Okay, so up with 5,000, then you can see that, you know, it, uh, if you cannot see clearly, then make the plot larger, <laughs> right? Make it larger, <laughs> then you can see more clearly, right? Then you can see that the, the purpose and the target are actually very close. Okay, so this means that uh, this is 5,000, right? So if you do try like 10,000 and so on, then it will get even better, okay? But just remember, this is when the target is normal and the purpose is normal, right? So we expect it to be good, right? So if you you change your target to a different distribution, then obviously the convergence and the uh, how good this will will change, right? So anyway, this is uh, for the sake of the the long one. So you can see, right, obviously the plotting part here is the this um, this plot MCNC part, but the actual, as I said before, right, the actual MCMC is just this, right? Propose, accept, or accept or reject. Uh, that's it. Okay, so as long as you know what is your target, and then you have to define your alpha, your acceptance or rejection, your alpha probability, right? So you need to define the proposal density and your target density, and then you have to find your alpha. Okay, so whenever you do your MCMC or the multiple testing in particular, so those are the things that you should know. The, the, proposal, the proposal distribution and also your target distribution. And you have to adjust your alpha to, to rewrite it to cater for your target and your proposal. All right. 
Okay, so then if we go to uh, the others, uh, wait, I think because uh, yeah, I've I've um, I said that yeah, we want to stop in time. <laughs> okay, right. Let us where is it? And general. Ah, okay, right. Okay, so if we look over here, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to skip example two. So example two, you can try on your own, uh, because this is actually just a, a example from the bivariate normal, right? So you can try. So it's actually similar to our question one. So part A is actually a nice plotting you, you enter, enter, enter part and the plot the part two part B is actually the part where you have the long one okay so I'm going to go to the part uh, the question the part three which is the from our example okay so this is the example five and five because I think this is uh, the, the second one is more like okay yeah pleasure is more like you know something interesting to share lah right but the point would be your example 5.5. 5. Uh, this part, right? 5.5. 5. This is okay, 5.5, 5, right? So if you remember from 5.5, 5, this is the example 5.5. 5. So we have the joint distribution. And somebody asked me if I have a joint PDF. Do I have still have to recognize the distribution? Usually, if you have a bivariate or multivariate distribution, it's hard to, to recognize. Unless it's normal, right? So if it's normal distribution or multivariate normal, sometimes you can recognize, right? But if it's like a joint something, multiplied by something, it's hard to recognize actually. Okay, so here, so from this example, right, you can see that the the conditional posterior, the theta one is conditionally is binomial. Right, and the theta two is conditionally is a beta. Okay, so the part here is first. Wow, well, it it close for itself. <laughs> All right, so the part here is you have to know the distribution, right? Okay, so the when you do the git sampler, right? Because you can see that the material testing, right? You can have a proposal, but you don't have to know the distribution. But for in this part, the git sampler, you really have to know the the for the conditional because we want to use that distribution directly, right? We don't have to propose, but we want to use it directly. So we don't even know, we don't even, uh, I mean, the kernel is there, but we have recognized the distribution. So it's binomial. And the part here you have to remember is the, is depend on the n, n is a fixed number, but it's also depend on theta, theta two, right? So, and then the theta two also depend on alpha and beta and also depend on theta one. Okay, so this means that your theta one, okay, one thing to know is your theta one is binomial, so theta one is a discrete random variable, and theta two is beta, so it's continuous, but theta two is between zero and one. Okay, so all those actually, um, it's just a thing to take note of, right? Okay, and that, uh, you can see, right, when you do your git sampling, then the point here is if you have theta one at time t, it depends on theta two at times t minus one. Okay, so here, right, from here. And after, then the ordering matters because if you update theta one first, then when you update theta two, theta one already updated. Okay, so this means that if I have theta two here, then depends on theta one already updated. So then this is theta one here is already updated, the new one. Okay, so this because uh, so this means that of course you can uh, you can actually update theta two plus theta one of course also can there's no problem usually okay but just that but when you write it and you write your program you have to mind be mindful of the ordering because if you already updated the first one then the second one will depend on the first one which is already updated okay so when you have to um, you, have to, you have to take note of the ordering okay and so this is the part where you know you have your binomial and your beta part okay so and uh, here you can see here that here what happens here is 
based on the example, we have you you can decide your on your M, your A, your B. So this is actually your prior, I think. Your A, B, and your M. All right. And you have your starting value for your, your initial value for your alpha and also for your sorry, your theta one and for your theta two. Okay. So you can see here, right? Do we have the I think uh, why was okay. So the part where they actually do the simulation is just this, this part. These two lines here. This only this only these two lines. So when you say you have the distribution, right? You can just use the built-in function in R. So you just use R binom for binomial and then R beta for beta. That's it. Ah, uh, so the rest are actually for plotting, for saving, you know, for other stuff, lah, right? But as I say, right, because um, uh, so you can see over here, if you start from the initial value, I think you start from see you can see you start from two, right? Your i is from two to n. So your initial value is x i is your x i is x one is for your theta one, x two is for your theta two. So you have start one, start two is the initial value for your theta one and theta two. Okay, and then you start from i from two. So you can see over here if you update your uh, x one i, which is your theta theta i, depends on theta two i minus one over here, right? But then your your x two is your theta two. Your your theta one already updated. You use a uh, theta one i. Okay, so this one you not yet updated. This one updated. Okay, and because you start from i equals to two. That's why you have to have initial value at i equals to one. So your starting point here is your initial value. So you can actually change your initial value. Uh, but if you have good convergence, usually initial value should not matter, right? In theory, <laughs> in theory. But in practice, sometimes it does because it depends on the rate of your of your convergence, right? Is it fast or uh, or slow? So anyway, so then, uh. Then the rest is actually, this is for the plotting part, right? And yeah, the histogram part. And I think the pos expose and y post is actually the position of your plot. Of your plot. <laughs> so these are all the plotting function actually. Okay, so if we copy that, again, uh, again if you copy your from, from the, PDF, yeah, there might be a problem. So just take note of that. Unless you are good with computer, you can scrape whatever. Then okay lah. All right, wait, I need to. Share. Wait, I think. Wait, I did record it, right? Oh. <laughs> I did that record it? I did, I did that. I saw it again, so yeah, right, 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 right. Weird. Okay. This is one, one minute or one hour. Okay, I don't know. All right, so anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah, because yeah, the first half, half is the more important. This one is like additional. So anyway, because I think the if you compare the MH and the example, of course, the example is easier as long as you can find the conditional distribution, right? So that's why you, you need to know the kernel and you need to know the parameter of the distribution. So as long as you can do that, then shouldn't be too difficult, lah, right? And this should be, or oh, usually, then, Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Okay, so then, so this is again the plot that I shared in the output, I mean the spectrum, right? So you can see that for 50 iterations, then we have the plot. Okay, and of course, uh, for 50 iteration is not that good. 
that's why you have to increase the uh, the iterations to I think in the question it says that 100 only, I don't know, maybe more than that. <coughs> what was it actually? Uh, wait, uh, Oh, 1,500, okay, 1,500, right. I think for what, okay, you, it look, it's looking at, uh, okay, maybe not to watch it, <laughs> close your eyes until it, 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 so until it finishes because you might get blinded, okay, I will, okay, <laughs> I will. I will. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, I didn't know you. If you cross, you go down. Then you sharing is paused until you return to the share window. Okay. I didn't know that. Well, because I mentioned use use my laptop. I don't use this. Oh, okay, still not finish. <laughs> you get blinded, right? So anyway. Okay. Um. So. Okay. So the the main point here is okay if you. Yeah, it's it, it, 1,500 is low already. Okay, no, because remember, right, we have to do two two things. So basically, you, you have to do like 3,000 iteration. So 1,500 1, 1, is for one iteration, but one iteration have two parameter, right, which is the theta one, theta two. So you have to generate two value actually. So that, that's why it, it seems to be longer, right? And, uh, and yeah. <laughs> Finish <laughs> after being blinded. Okay, so after 1,500, then you can see that uh, the the values are converging well. But of course, right? As I said before, if you get rid of all this, get rid of all this plotting, right? And you only do uh, these two 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 point. In Niger, right? this two point, <laughs> okay, right? And you plot, for example, we put Instagram, wherever, right? So this this thing is because what happened here is because they do the plotting and the sampling for each iteration, right? So if you close it and you do only do at the end, that is only one shot, right? Then faster lah. Ah, uh, this one because they're doing it in each iteration, so this becomes low. Okay, so you don't have to do like this. You can change it, right? So what? So you can do like the previous one. You just Keep all the the values and then plot at the end, uh, so that will take a shorter time. I mean, I recommend that lah. This one is for visualization, okay, but not for practical purpose. Okay, right. So any any question? Copy and paste lah. Yeah, copy and paste. Enter. <laughs> Enter. Run. <laughs> okay, right. Copy. Huh? Okay. <laughs> There's a maybe an error PDF also. Okay, okay, maybe I will. Okay, so if you cannot stick that note, I will, I will, uh, okay, I'll post the text file in uh in, in spectrum later. Okay, the text file meaning the one with the with not the PDF file lah, the text version right, the TXT file. Uh, then I think that will be easy to copy. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, oh. Maybe not even the PDF uh, text file. Uh, I can copy. I can post the word file. What? <laughs> word is probably better, right? Word file. Word is in computer lah, right? Uh, what? Dot text file. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. No. This. Yeah. I know. But this. 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 This one I got. I mean, this is this a full one. So actually, uh, it is the from the from the beginning to the end. So this no section. So I was so I have to copy into Word because I want to explain. Ah, so if I give you that one, you I can share that one, but then you have to section yourself, lah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, based on the on the PDF just now, lah. Okay. Right. So if you don't have question, okay. So the main point here is okay. If you get rid of all the fancy, fancy, blah, 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 protein part, right? So the main part here is just the, here is only two lines, <laughs> right? It's only the two lines. Okay, but of course you have to open the, 
you have to open and close the looping. And for both MH and give sampling, you have to have initial value. That's the most important part, right? Initial value, and then you have the how many iteration you run. And then uh, for also which one you update first, right? Because if you have more than two, more than one variable, which one you update first? Uh, that's it. Okay. And for the key sampling is how oh, sorry, is uh, how uh, sorry the distribution, but for the MH would be the proposal to to generate your proposal. Okay, right. So that would be the end uh, for this part because we need to discuss this. <clears throat> Did there have a case where you know how we use the the proposal distribution for the MH algorithm? Yes. Which is the symmetric one, right? Uh, uh no. Well, you don't you don't use